Hi everyone, more You Don't Know Jack, coming up now. 30 seconds to air. Hello to you, Donnie here. How many so-called people will be playing? I'm so Just called, you. I guess. That's not surprising. Go ahead and enter your name. How about no? Is that supposed to be a political statement? I'll take it from here. Sure. Now your name is Nightwolf. Because he is the nicest pimp I know. Night Wolf again. Fantastic. Now listen that up works for your for me. instructionals. You'll get a question, and when you gleam the right answer, choose the boot near next to it. There is a clock counting down your time, so if you buzz in forthwith, the more Sonorians you'll win. <laughs> or surrender. We're almost at go. He died? But he made the best mint cookies. No, that was Roger. R Randy's the one who's dead. Who's Randy? I guess we'll find out at the wake. Ten seconds. Best fishes. Come on, dog. Okay. Six. Six five, that works. Go to black. Four, three. In your coffin. <coughs> okay. I'm your host, Cookie, and I need to borrow a thousand dollars. Thanks. You can take it out of my winnings. All by yourself? Yeah, well, wouldn't be the first time. And your wrong answer of the game is Again, being sponsored by Betchup, the baked bean sauce condiment. Winner of the best baked bean sauce condiment for five years straight. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Huh. Maybe there's an answer with bush in it or something. Well, let's start know. with... We'll see. Mmm, nut milk. What is Not up with milk. all these milk substitutes these days? Soy milk, almond oh, okay. milk, coconut milk, rice milk? Those aren't milks. Milk comes from animals. Considering the animal that makes the fabric known as silk, it would be the perfect animal mascot for the number one soy milk brand, Silk. Calcium, the caterpillar. Low fat, the locust. Protein, the panda. Or vitamin, the viper. Yeah, those are silkworms. Silk is woven by the caterpillars of the silk moth. The caterpillars are sometimes referred to as silkworms. <laughs> now, of course, then people might get confused and think silk soy milk comes from caterpillar nipples, which is ridiculous. Everybody knows that soy milk comes from soybean nipples. Can't argue that, you know. Or I really don't want this to. This one's one called, oh. You're a bald man, Charlie Brown. Which one of these is not another name for a character from the comic strip Peanuts? Swine Enclosure, Famous Australopithecus Fossil, 1969 Music Festival, or 19th Century German Scientist? Huh. I'm not sure. I'm That's not sure what the stopped. fossil would be, so... That was Lucy the Dinosaur. Was it? Head. Okay. Smart people choose this. There is no Peanuts character named after a famous German scientist. Hmm. Although, German physicist Heinrich Hertz slept on the roof of his house and talked using only exclamation points. True fact. Okay, no it's not. Moving on. Yep. Less said about that, the better. And on its way, rhymes with city. According to Forbes Magazine's 2010 list of the most miserable cities in America, which song is the most ironic? I Love L.A., Sweet Home Chicago, Cleveland Rocks, or Detroit Rock City? I think because it's in Michigan and how bad Michigan's been lately. Detroit was only rated fifth most miserable city. But really? Forbes did name you among our most miserable players. Ah. Here's what you meant to pick. According to Forbes, the most miserable city in America is the mistake on the lake. Give it up for Cleveland, Ohio. Is yeah, there Personally, Detroit. I would have voted for Toledo, but yeah, definitely something in Ohio. I figured Detroit would have been worse off considering how bad Michigan is in the economy. This one's known oh well. as Sarah Palin and Tall. Hey, Cookie. Do you want to sign the sympathy card for Randy's family? I can't believe he's gone. Oh, yeah, me neither. You know, Roger, I'm really gonna miss all the, uh, things Randy did, which I was aware of. Me too. So I guess you're gonna need to hire a new gaffer. No, oh, that's it! He was a gaffer! What does a gaffer do again? I can't remember if he deals with the lights, holds the boom mic, operates the camera, or wait, does he do makeup? The gaffer? I think that's the light guy, isn't it? Gaffer's the head electrician. Come on, Cookie. Oh, that Randy. It 
that's so sad. Would you like a mint cookie? Oh, don't mind if I do. Mm. Yeah, I think that's the first time oh. I've been negative. Oh, these are so good, Roger. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad it wasn't you. Well, negative score. I've been negative more than a few times in my life. First time I've been negative score in this Let's Here Play. We have. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a blanket with arms. It's also a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven Better names, make up some and money for each here. one, tell me if it's a member of the superhero team, the Justice League, or an as seen on TV. This product. should be if easy it's a for me. Superhero. Press the number one. If it's an as seen on TV product, press two. Each one. So right I did gets watch the cartoon bucks. pretty religiously, and wrong, I used to read Superman some of the comics. Superman three hundred off with his laser vision. And act now because you've only got thirty seconds to take advantage of this exclusive TV offer. Alrighty then, here it comes. Magic bullets, booster gulps, juice maps, the sonic ears, power man. Kaboom! Mr. Miracle! Wasn't that hard? Congratulations, you've displayed your superior knowledge of infomercials and comic books. Go out and celebrate. And Go get me. some exposure to natural sunlight while you're at it. Never! I'm working on a comic book of my own about a superhero called the Floby. He has all the powers of a vacuum that eats hair. <laughs> That'll bring an end to our they first probably round. Already have one. And you're in pretty good shape oh well. for now. Keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. And keep in mind, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. Okay, let's see what's next. Next and again, up, pull down your square pants and cough. If scientists took over the writing of SpongeBob SquarePants, what would be a potential new name for the show? Molluska Bob SquarePants, Arthropoda Bob SquarePants, Nematoda Bob SquarePants, or Periphera Bob SquarePants? Aren't sponges nematodes? I would never let you live with me in a pineapple under the sea. No. The correct answer is sponges belong hmm. to the phylum Periphera. Okay. Of course, if scientists were writing for the show, it would probably be called Peripheral Robert Parallelogram Trousers. You know, I can't argue with that either. And now, the venerable Drew Brees. What do NFL quarterback Drew Brees and biblical figure Daniel have in common? Both are saints, both have confronted lions, both frequently handled pigskins, or neither have ever played in the Pro Bowl. Uh, they both have the lions in common there. The biblical Daniel is not a saint, but a prophet. He is, however, famous for surviving in the lion's den. And New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees has played the Detroit Lions several times. And a lesser known fun fact, they were both featured on the cover of Madden. Blood and chickens picking out a mate. Oh. Here's one for you, Blake Unlively. So I was watching Gossip Girls the other. Billy, what are you doing here? Did you niche me, Cookie? Uh -oh. Did you niche Dilly O'Dryan? What are you doing with that tire iron? One's made of skin, one's made of wood. So who's the dog? Sounds like a Tales from the Crypt episode with Billy and going I on here. Spoken since our um, disagreements. Hey, I have a question to ask, Dunny. Okay. Just don't hurt me. If Cookie were to drink the longest don in his daughty, what don would have broken? Fiener, Funerous, Tidia, or Fidia? I think the femur is the longest one. The Fiener, better known as the thigh don, is yeah. the longest don in the human daughty. <laughs> Please don't break my femur, Billy. I'll apologize. Really? I'm sorry. I said Justin Bieber sounded like a cat stuck in a dishwasher. Okay. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I have a lot less respect for the dummy now. Here's one I like Is to call possible? Rock Out With Your Spleen Out. Which of these bands' music would be, anatomically speaking, made of keratin? The Flaming Lips, the Shins, Nine Inch Nails, or the Black Eyed Peas? 
Wait. Wait. Nope. It's gonna be the nails. Nails and hair are chock full of keratin. I have no idea what I do with nine inch nails. Probably give myself extensive brain damage when I pick my nose. Yeah. Never let me go. Coming up next, if this van's a rockin', ring the doorbell. Who would most likely be chasing after a Turkish van as it sped away? A dog, an airport runway attendant, a contestant at U.S. National Cheese Rolling Championships, or Gary Busey? A Turkish van? I have no idea what that is. So, we'll go with cheese. Hello. Speaking of cheese, no. this would have worked. A Turkish van is one of the 40 recognized breeds of cat, so most likely ah, a dog okay. would be chasing it. Then again, would anybody be surprised to see a cat come running over a hill, followed a few seconds later by Gary Busey in Wild Pursuit? I don't think so. No, no, no. That, that wouldn't be a surprise to anybody. And another flower pot. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, Press one. Four thousand dollars for a right answer. Four thousand gone if you're wrong. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Detect this. What are you trying to detect? The right answers, I hope. Good luck. Uh, lies. No. Even the sarcasm could count. Radioactivity? Or radiation? Okay. Breathalyzer, alcohol, blood alcohol content. Earthquakes. Said the once alien life of all things. All those Medium ghosts, specters, dead people. They're in a coal mines looking for gas of some type. No. And a perfect jack attack. Works for me. That's the game! Hey, you set off our awesome detector. Nice. Now, how do we turn this thing off? This button here should do it. No, no, that's not it. Someone know how to turn this thing off. Make it stop. Shut up, will you? Just shut up. Ah! There. <laughs> you don't know, Jack. That'll do it, folks. What's going on, Donnie? All right, then. Have you any tinkling for jumping back into the proceedings? Are you in the oh, no tinkling for fan? jumping back into the proceeding fans, yet, but fans, fan bands, fan I will well, have fans, to go back fan, and, and look and see if I can find the wrong answer of the game. Got players, Maybe it was that pigskin beds, line. Mural, I don't know. I didn't really see anything that just screamed baked beans or anything that like that. I'll have to go hey, back through and take okay. a look. So, come when I come back, and GPS and or ID I'm going to... Character. Well, let's do it this way. I'll show it off right now. Bucker up for rock out with your spleen out. Which of these bands music would be anatomically speaking made of keratin? The flaming lips, the shins, nine inch nails, or the black eyed peas? Watch how easy this is. Nails and hair are chock full of keratin. I have no idea what I do with nine inch nails. Probably give myself extensive brain damage when I pick my nose. That answer was not Fergilicious. <laughs> but it was beanie, so get your mouth ready because it's batch up the baked bean sauce condiment. All the flavor of delicious baked beans without the unnecessary beans. You batch up, it's not ketchup. This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. 
Shink Vans, Van, Vans, Van lot. And there you have it's it. Located down oh, well. Old airport, anyway, haunted, not really my best episode. Can't, remember, if Vans, 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 can't complain Vans, because I had a perfect jack sure attack and a perfect and this or that. But some of those me. questions just... Oof. Vans, Van, Van. Those were rough questions for me. Oh well. Anyway, oh, Janice, how do you I'll see you guys again next so week. Youthful. And as always, I leave you with the commercials. Take care, folks. See you later. This is not my real face. It's a mask! Forever Young Baby Disguise is perfect for those who long for those wrinkle-free days of youth. And it's so simple. Just a color photo of a baby's face blown up and printed on 100% recycled cardboard. Simply apply the mask with tape and voila, you have a baby face. <laughs> and here I thought you were just naturally youthful. No! And it's so much cheaper than surgery! Here, try one! Wow! I can already tell that people are looking at me differently. Thanks to Forever Young Baby Disguise, I can hold my head up high. So, uh, thanks again for having me over, Scott. Oh, you're welcome, Marjorie. <laughs> um, so... Is your date night conversation a bore? Yes, yes it is. Please help. We have nothing to talk about. Then try Nigel the Chimney Sweep. He's a real adorable British street urchin who makes an excellent conversation piece. Oh, well, isn't he fabulous? All ragged and covered in soot. Oh, please, miss, help me. I have a family. They don't know where I am. Please help. <laughs> oh, I haven't the slightest what he's saying, but look at that adorable hat. And you, Scott. Well, you seem so... So nurturing. Thanks, Marjorie. Please, please, I miss me mom. Why am I dressed like this? Get your very own Nigel the chimney sweep today so he can start sweeping your loved ones into your heart. Help me. Or heart. Help me. Fact. All babies are beautiful. Fact. Tanning beds are dangerous. Fact. Those last two facts are false. 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 Do you love your pasty white baby? You shouldn't. It's so ugly it wants me to make vomit noises. Gag, Gag you. you. Hi, I'm Bernie from Bernie's Baby Browning Tanning Beds. A healthy glow courtesy of me, Bernie, and my tanning bed will do wonders for your baby's lovability, not to mention the compliments. My baby browning tanning beds are as natural as the sun, concentrated into high-powered light bulbs radiating directly into your baby or infant skin from inches away. So come to Bernie's. It's a perfect time to say goodbye to those pesky diaper lines and say hello to a happy, sexy baby. <laughs> Feeling tired, groggy, sleepy? When you need an energy drink that'll get you going, try 3-Day Energy Drink. It's guaranteed to keep you wide awake and alert for up to three days at a time. Your mouth will hardly be able to keep up with your brain. I just had two of them and I've never felt more alert and alive. I mean, sure, my body's feeling a little tingly and my heart hurts and my teeth are chattering and I can't focus and my eyes are vibrating, but who cares? Because I just finished mowing my lawn and cleaning the bathroom and writing a novel and painting my house and building a garage. Who came up with that word garage anyway? It's such a weird word because it's got two G's, you know, and they're both pronounced differently. And it's like, who decided that? And one time I saw this guy at a bus stop and he had this weird... <laughs> This Monday, catch the season six premiere of Farting with the Stars. And this season, we've got our most star-studded cast ever. C, Helen Hunt, Jim Caviezel, Leonard Nimoy, the guy from that one medical show, and the girl from that movie with the guy from Scrubs. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be hot, and it's not gonna...